Oh, you want to start? Okay, well, you're coming home now. I mean, first off, first two weeks, was it as good as skate melt can be? I mean, are you, are you so critical in saying what's going on and they're not ready yet? Well, I, I, I mean, when you win eight games, it's as good as it gets as far as the record's concerned. There's no doubt about that, and we are very happy about that, very excited about that. I don't think we're... Um, I don't think we're um, feeling like we've played our best baseball, but I, you know, I mean, absolutely to go down and play all eight games on the road and win all eight. Very excited about that and don't want to take anything away from that. So uh, our guys played well. We pitched well. We defended extremely well. Um, I think if you were going to look at areas that we, we felt like we excelled, those would be the areas. I think the areas that we felt like we get, get better would be offensive uh, situations. But um, no, we're, we're, we're pleased about that. Um, but I also, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of teams right now that, uh, you know, are, are off to a good start that feel like, hey, there's a lot of things we're going to improve on or we want to improve on. You, mid mid the trip, I talked to you and you said, yeah, it's offense. I mean, what's, what's missing? I mean, what, or what's missing? I think we're just, you know, we're a little bit behind the pitching. And I think we've taken some pitches in some situations where uh, we should be swinging. I think that we've swung in some situations where we should be taking. And I think we've... Uh, kind of been out of sync as far as getting the pitch we want to hit. So uh, we want to be aggressive early in the year as far as, you know, um, swinging the bat. You know, we're not interested in, uh, you know, uh, taking a lot of pitches if we don't have to. But we also are well aware we saw a couple good arms. I mean, you know, we saw some good kids down there, and we also saw some arms I thought we should have handled. But um, I, I just think that we can do a better job offensively. I think they feel that way too. Two, only two weeks in, but how would you get categorize, I guess, chemistry, the vibe of this team, and sometimes you felt it and it was very lent, you know, yeah. great success, and sometimes it's been a struggle. I mean, is it there? Can you say that? To the well, for the first two weeks, it was certainly there, and you know, you want to continue that. I think our guys have worked hard all year long. I don't think there's been a chemistry problem all year. I think that's one of our strong points, uh, and usually it is. Uh, you got to play well to create chemistry. Um, you got to keep chemistry when you don't play well. Um, so, I mean, I think there, there's a lot of things that go into a, a, a complex kids game, you know. It, it's, it's, it, it might be the, the greatest oxymoron in the world, you know. It's the simplest game in the world, but yet it's the most difficult. So, um, I, I think that we need to figure some of those things out. But I love the club's uh, enthusiasm. I love their energy. I love the way they go about their business. And uh, we had a great practice today. I've seen the good pitching. Uh, I saw that West North Star went back at it. Anything? So I, we're, you know, we listen to them. You know, they've got trainers and doctors, and um, those guys make those decisions. And uh, whenever that decision is that they can throw, I, I'm assuming they'll both be available this weekend. Um, last weekend, Wetzer was available, could have thrown. Uh, we chose not to throw him, and um, there's, you know, just felt like that we were in a situation where we didn't need to throw him, give him a little protection. Uh, hopefully, another week will help him out, but. Uh, um, you know, I, I just I let them and the trainers and the doctors come to me and tell me where they're at and if they're if it's the next man up if they're if they can't go. The next man up, you must be pretty happy, particularly that rotation and bullpen. I mean, two two veteran pitchers missing for the first two weeks and things haven't missed a beat. So I mean, it, that pitching has really come together. Pitching was really good. You know, and you know some of the some of the surprises are how good that Moore and Engelbrecht were early, two freshman guys. Um, and then, um, you know, got a situation with Tyler Payton down there that gave us six innings, strong innings against Riverside when we had a rough start. Uh, and then Brandon Jackson threw well for us, too. Uh, you know, if he gave us four and a third at San Diego State. So uh, uh, hopefully we can keep that trend going. I think we have some depth in our pitching staff, which is fortunate for us. Um, I would say that Boyd and Moore probably gave us the best starts of anybody. And I would say that, um, you know, our bullpen was exceptional. As far as Moore, did he meet? exceed the bar that you you know thought that he would hit going into his first start he exceeded it you know I mean he was pretty good the first two outings and so um, I was happy for him you know those guys those freshman guys you know no matter how much you, you work with them and how many times they're on the field in their squads it's you know it's their first time but he's he's a tough kid I mean he handles things with composure uh, he competes and plus he's got good stuff I mean you know you can go out there and compete your tail off and not be very good and have a tough day but uh, uh, he he He's pretty good. Did that kind of ease your mind as far as having more confidence in him, seeing how well he did his first two starts, knowing that you know you don't need to rush guys back if he's thrown like that? Yeah, great point. That's exactly what happened. You know, we were able to. I think he was at 68 pitches in the seventh inning at San Diego State, and we're you know we thought, wow, this I mean, is pretty good. So uh, um, he was good. Um, our, but we played really well behind him too. I mean, all those guys really. We played very well defensively. Made some big big plays when we needed to, and um, I just thought we responded to the challenge. How about Boyd his couple starts? Obviously, you got the honor back to a pitcher of the week. 
Good. Second start was really good. First start was, uh, you know, okay. Um, you know, he's never started before here, so it's a new thing for him. But uh, we we uh, we feel like he's going to be a guy that can start for us in our conference, uh, and that says a lot because the pitching in this conference is outstanding, and the teams in this conference are outstanding. And um, you know, we got to we got to uh, again uh, raise the bar to get to that level too. Now, uh, media day, you said that you weren't as impressed with this team as you know Baseball America and guys like that. After the same old start, uh, you feeling a little bit better. See, now you can't talk me into that. I'm gonna have to say the exact same thing, or I'm gonna get in trouble. You know, I was impressed with the way they played. Um, you know, when you start talking about whether you're the fifth best team in the country, or the eighth best team in the country, or the fifteenth best team in the country, you know, that's that's so far from being difficult to tell because there's so many good clubs. But I would tell you that I've, I was impressed with them, the way they went about their business. Uh, and I think that they're going to get better. Back on the pitching thing, and if when Lesler start gets back, I mean, you can't have too many good arms. So it, is it a, it's a good thing to have? Like, you've got a pretty good strong rotation and you still got these two guys still haven't thrown yet for you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we play four games this weekend and then one on Tuesday. So, I mean, that's, um, I mean, that's pretty tough go. You're talking about needing five starters. Um, in, in a short period of time, so we need to get into the games deep uh, against uh, uh, our opponents, and we need to we need to continue, um, I think, to to be good out of the pen and, and and try to make those stints short so those guys can come back. In the pen, do you have a set closer, set up guys, that type of stuff yet, or are you still uh, looking for that? We're still looking for that. You know, Andrew Moore was a guy we thought might close for us, um, and he was forced to be a starter. Max can, can certainly uh, close for us. Taylor Stark could close for us. Uh, uh, Scotty Schultz could close for us. So I think we've got some good options there. You know, um, Max reminds me a little bit of Gundy when he was a freshman. You know, um, Velo's going to get better as he gets older. He's going to get stronger. Um, he's got good stuff. He's a good, good kid. Your position <coughs> players set in that way you want to have them? Well, I, yeah, I think that we played well up the middle. I will stay with Smitty and Petey at, 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 at up the middle and J Rod behind the plate. Um, we, we, we flipped it a lot at, at third and a lot at uh, first and, and in the outfield. Uh, uh, you know, Dylan Davis has swung the bat very, very well. Uh, he didn't play in the first couple games. Um, you got a lot of options in center field with Joey Jansen and, and Joey Matthews and, um, uh, you know, Max Gordon. So we've got options. And then I don't think we'll, you know, obviously Michael Conforto um, and, and Tyler Smith and, and Danny Hayes and Petey and those guys, I think you got four, four or five guys who are going to be everyday players. Other than that, we might we might have a, a little bit of a rotation. Good. Yeah, right on, guys. Thank you.